it's fantastic. It's challenging. It's um, it's it's really good to for me to be able to play a character like this. That's that's professional, um, strong, intelligent, um, and committed to her job. And I and I I mean I get to play doctor. That's it's fantastic. I get to say all this stuff that makes me sound really smart. <laughs>the most difficult part is, well yeah, you, you've heard about the research that I did. Um, and what I, found, what, what I found that was interesting when I went down to the coroner's office and I, and I connected with them, because I, I wanted to see peop the real people who do my real job. I wanted to see you know, the process. And what I asked them was, how do you sort of detach yourself from the circumstances of these victims' lives. I mean, the, this is, I mean, you're dealing with some real tragedies here. And they said, well, at the end of the day, you're, get, you're getting a job done. And you sort of let yourself be taken in by the routine of it. You, there's, there's a very specific routine. You, you know, you do the why and you open up the body and you take out the organs and it's all, it's a job. You're getting a job done and you are trying to figure out what happened to this person. And, um, and if you don't do that, then you're doing them a disservice. So that's the least that you can do for this person who's just had this tragic end. Um, and I think that's probably for me that's the hardest part because some of the time, sometimes the storylines are really sad and really kind of shocking. The things that happen to people, they actually do happen to real people. So, um, so you kind of go, oh my God, how does how does anyone deal with this especially when you're so close to it and you see little kids coming in and having to cut them open it's like I think it takes a really special kind of person <laughs> I love them I think they're fantastic David um, was really helpful in the beginning very very um, you know warm and and, and helpful and he gave me a lot of tips and he assured me that nothing was gonna happen to me um, in the first couple of days, even the first couple of episodes. And he also helped me sort of um, find the tone of the show because he, you know, he was sort of instrumental in, in creating it. So who better to sort of lead you in the right direction than him? Um, yeah, it's, it's really fun. I, I don't get to, I, I do a lot of stuff with the dead bodies and I usually interact with uh, the other CSIs one on one. So um, I actually haven't even worked with Eva LaRue yet. I haven't had a scene with her yet. Um, but I'm, st I'm, I'm so excited. I feel so lucky to be a part of this cast. Well, I think they can look forward to um, maybe a little romance between some characters. I don't know, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna name names. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't know, I'm just as surprised as anybody else when I get the scripts and I, and I discover the sort of gruesome ways that these people die. Um, so I'm just as excited to learn <laughs> as you are. <laughs>